Being an intellectual non-partisan decision forum, the Pan-African Pyramid is pillared on Pan-Africanism, patriotism, nationalism, and the need for intellectual revival discourse among the youth. The ambassador of the Republic of Cuba to Uganda, Rwanda and Burundi, Tanya Perez, emphasizes that Cuba is what it is today because of the sons and daughters of Africa, thus the need to share Pan-Africanism core values by the peoples of Cuba and Africa. That is what we have done. We don't deserve any special recognition. We don't deserve any special gratitude. We simply fulfill with our duty. Final record. That's why, that's why we can ratify that there is not Cuba history beside the African contribution. During its 10th Pan-African Pyramid Global Awards, the Pan-African Pyramid applauded Dr. Kin Carissa, the proprietor of Next Media, for being a selfless media guru who has embarked on the ideology of Pan-Africanism aimed at reviving the lost patriotism and nationalism values and spirits. You watch Western media, more so the global north, from the America, from the Europe, they use some peculiar lenses whenever they cover Africa. Watching Africa from those capitals in the global north, it's as if Africa is a dying continent. We are not dying as Africa. We are thriving. Dr. King Karis has stressed that the ongoing coup d'etat in African nations has been instigated by the greedy West for Africa's rich resources, thus the need to reverse the narrative of imperialism across Africa. That place, Niger, where the, you saw a coup the other day, there is a village where they are getting, the French people are getting uranium to power their capitals, to give them electricity, nuclear electricity. That village does not have even a tadov. I don't know how to say tadov in English. They don't have even a bulb. Hmm? They are in darkness, but whatever is mined out of that small village in Niger is the one that powers Europe. The keynote speaker for this Pan-African Pyramid Global Awards, Bishop Marara Maponga from Mbire Empire in Zimbabwe, commended the pioneer of Pan-African Pyramid, Andrew Irumba, for awakening African nationalism and patriotism, whose values have been underlooked and treated as backwardness by the Western world. How can my philosophy, my professorship, my doctorate, my certificates help my fellow African to become a better person? Unfortunately, we display our houses with the doctorates that we have and you can't even manufacture a whole engineer who can't even manufacture a toothpick. Now, I'm not asking for something complicated. Africa is importing millions billions of toothpicks from China. You are selling the continent, you politicians. You are not even politicians, you are politicians. You are selling the continent. Self-aggrandizement. Where do you want to leave your children and your children's children? You are selling the continent. Olivia Nakalembe, Eric Wakabi, NBS.